Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today, this reading is for the sign of Libra. Um, instantly, I heard the song Weak by SWB. And it'd be like, I don't know what it is that you've done to me. But it's caused me to act in such a crazy way. Whatever it is that you do when you do what you're doing It's a feeling that I want to stay Cause my heart starts beating triple times With thoughts of having you on my mind I can't pick Okay, so y'all get the point So, um Somebody's working the ground this week. Somebody's feeling regretful about the crazy ways that the love make them weak. I don't know. Somebody's feeling regretful about some things that were said or done that may have went down. Um, thinking about what if I would have said this or what if I would have handled it like this or what if I would have handled it like that. But what's done is done. Okay. Um, but it's time for some ground and time for some change. Somebody's going to be, some people, some Libras are going to be increasing uh, their meditation this week. If you're meditating for five, you're going to be starting to meditate for ten. If you don't meditate at all, you're possibly going to be starting to meditate. Okay. Um, then I heard, down on my luck, back against the wind, trying to make it no way to win some of you Libras out there are feeling down on your luck okay and just when you thought you were down on your luck a light bulb moment happens when you're like ah oh, okay you know you gain some clarity on something I don't know what that clarity is but boom you got it so with that being said we're just going to jump right in okay we're going to be doing nine card spreads this week three cards for the past three cards for the current three cards for the possible outcome so, God, universe, angels, spirit guides, please show us a sign for Libra, a sign for Libra. some messages for Libra, three cards for the past, three cards for the current, three cards for possible outcome for the sign of Libra, thank you, three cards for Libra and possible and the possible. I meant to say the past. The six of wands. We ain't gonna take that because I'm asking the wrong question. Oof. Three cards to Libra in the past. The past energy. Three cards to Libra. Past energy. Okay, so we have the ace of wands. The six of cups. And the five of cups. So it looks like um, you could have had a passionate new beginning or a passionate new reconciliation with somebody from the past, uh, but it still turned out to be a disappointment here. Okay, what we have going on currently for Libra? Two more. First one is the Ten of Wands, putting down burdens. Two more cards for Libra in the current energy. The Hermit, Solitude, Going In, Gaining Knowledge. Dang, I'm just going to keep the King of Wands to fill out. King of Wands. Taking the leadership role. Three for the possible outcome for Libra. There's one. The Devil. There's two. Four of Pentacles. One more. One more. The third pentacles with the queen of cups on the bottom. Pouring out of your emotion. Okay. So in the current, it looks like that you're going to be putting down some burdens because you went in the solitude and you gained some information. You see the light. You begin to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So you start to take action towards your destined path here, which is the ace of wands. Okay, and then we have the devil, 
four of pentacles and the three of pentacles seven of pentacles regretful about the past okay so it looked like uh in the outcome we got somebody maybe trying to keep you stuck keep you held back uh from heading to your destiny for put from working together i don't know let's see what's this ace of wands what's this one? let's see universe god universe angels god why did you show us the ace of wands here for the past believer that's the ace of wands here for the past believer okay Ace of Wands. What's the Ace of Wands here for you in the past? Okay, so we have the first card that was popped out. I'm going to make sure I don't miss nothing on the way there. Chariot. Moving forward. From heartache, possibly. Seven of Wands. Feeling like you got the higher ground to stand up and fight. Was that all? I think it was. Reflect. Okay, then we got this here. The Two of Pentacles and a Reverse. And the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom. So, um, it's funny here how you see that little swiggly line here. See how it looks the same on these cards? That's why I say the devil's trying to keep you from your destiny, it looks like. Um, so, anyway. Passion and new endeavor. Passion new idea. Passion new beginning here. You were hurt here. Feeling unbalanced with the two of pentacles in the reverse. Okay. But you were feeling determined. And you had the higher ground to stand up and fight. To move forward here from these energies with the chariot. Towards this passion and new beginning. Okay. But let's see. What's this three of swords and the two of pentacles in the reverse? Three of Swords and the Two of Pentacles in the Reverse. Why is that here for Libra? Three of Swords and the Two of Pentacles in the Reverse. Three of Swords and the Two of Pentacles in the Reverse. Why is that here for Libra? For three of Swords and the Two of Cups. And the Two of Pentacles in the Reverse. We got Temperance. Okay, you wanted to bring in the balance, wanted to heal. Want to have healing. Move forward from the heartbreak. Move forward from the imbalance. Okay. What's the Six of Cups? Look like somebody from the past come back and try to give you their cup again. Okay. You got the Knight of Cups. Yep. Two of Wands. Yep. Page of Cups. Yep. Somebody come back. Whoever this was to cause you the heartbreak, come back around here with the Page of Cups apology and the Knight of Cups. Like, let's start it up again with the Six of Cups. See that lady's trying to hand her cup to the little kid? Or she's just taking it. You're probably taking your cup now, but you're disappointed, but... It was a decision to be made here because the person came in and apologized, sent, made you an offer, somebody from the past, the person that hurt you, and you had a decision to be made. And I'm assuming, let's see what the, the decision was. Wait a minute. All of that goes over here on the five, of, on the two of swords, two of pentacles reverse, but the person was from the past. Or did I already clarify? Nope, I clarified that with temperance. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm over here tripping. So that does go there. What's this two of wands? What is the decision? Hold on. I'm clarifying with the wrong cards. Look at me. I'm just tripping all the way around. What's this two of pentacles? What was the decision? Decision? What's this two of pentacles? I'm sorry. Two of wands. Two of wands for Libra. Why is the two of wands here for Libra in the past? 
to the ones that we've been in the past. Nine of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and Nine of Pentacles. So this person come in with apology, promising some changes. But they, it was like bread coming because with the Knight of Pentacles, it changes so slow that it feel like it ain't there at all. Put you back in the Wounded Warrior energy, made you feel regretful, considering you were still already trying to heal from the heartbreak. So you decided to be single here. Left you in disappointment with the Five of Cups. What's the Five of Cups? Five of Cups. Why they here? Dang, wings taking out those, y'all. What's the Five of Cups here? What's this Five of Cups for Libra? Five of Cups. Why the Five of Cups here for Libra? The King of Pentacles and the Moon card. Yeah, this person came in acting like they was trustworthy, like you could depend on them, like they want to have something real. And it was illusions because it left you in disappointment yet again. Yeah, making you feel like they're wish fulfillment when they're just a five of cups. Make you feel like a, they're nine of cups when they're five of cups. Then boom, justice coming in, coming in to balance out the skills. You just have to put these burdens down, okay? Because you just know what the hermit card. This is just you decide to get back. You know that's not your path. You know you got this ace of wands. You need to be chasing ten of wands. What's the ten of wands? Putting it in, putting down the burdens. What's ten of wands here? Yep, nine of swords. Yep, you're putting it into the burdens. Putting it into being trapped in your head, being an anxiety hit, being illusional. We got the hermit card on the bottom. You fall on the light at the end of the tunnel here. Okay, three cups. Moving on, having a reason to celebrate after judgments being made. The cycle being ended here. What's this nine of swords? Something slipped over right there. What is that? Yep, justice. That's what that is. Justice here to balance out the skills. Okay. What's this justice in this nine of swords? The hermit. There it is. And the hermit's right here too. You see the light at the end of the tunnel. And you ain't getting distracted no more. What's this hermit? You realize this person is just trying to keep you back. What's this hermit? Okay. Eight of Cups. And the Seven of Swords. You're walking away from deception. Being true, being fair, being balanced, and cutting it out. Taking action with the Emperor to a leadership role. Same thing as the King of Wands. What's this King of Wands? The Libra. King of Wands for Libra. You taking action to take yourself to something really happy. To be happy with yourself. Okay. What's this Ten of Cups? Ace of Pentacles. Page of Wands. The High Priestess. And the Will of Fortune. And yeah, you moving on to love yourself here with the Ten of Cups. Okay. To follow your passion, okay. That follow the Ace of Wands to just stay with new beginning for yourself, with the divine time and the will, of the um, luck and fortune on your side, and your intuition leading you. Can't go wrong here. Fair and balanced, and you got the Ace of Swords to cut through the bullshit. What's this High Priestess? I'm gonna see what that is. That's self-love here. Loving yourself. What's the devil? You're putting your love into yourself. Not that you need self-love, but before you put it in this type of person, yep, you ain't gonna do it. You already know. You see what the devil trying to do. You putting them burdens down. Sorry. No longer. No longer. From the past, 
Keep charging forward. No longer than we got the four of pentacles. Somebody's holding on to you. What's this four of pentacles? Four of pentacles. Why are they holding back the fact that they real intentions is just to keep you from your destiny? Four of pentacles. Yeah, page of swords. Coming in here. Trying to find a new way to do things. Trying to find a new way to keep you kept back from your ultimate happiness. Up oh, from your three of pentacles. From your leap of faith. From your from your ace of wands. No, we ain't doing it. Page of swords. This person spying. And trying to find out stuff so they can try to get in your way. What's this page of swords? The king of cups in reverse. Yeah, because you were emotionally withdrawn from this person and left them out in the in the left them out in the cold because you know what you want and you taking an action towards it with the king of wands. That's what you're doing currently, and then in the outcome, this person don't like that. Okay, because you had to do your three of pentacles. You just putting your work in wherever it needs to be. What's this three of pentacles? Four of cups, ten of pentacles, ten of swords, and the hangman. Yeah, you putting it into this person having you stuck, okay? Missing that opportunity, being bored because you're too busy looking at what the universe got for you, what God got for you, and that's this Ten of Pentacles right here. And you putting in the work to get there, okay? You ain't gonna let nobody hold you back. Ten of Pentacles. I don't know what the Ten of Pentacles is. Possibly we're in the beginning in emotion, but it's stable. And you putting in the work. You retreating from anything. Cutting it out. Cutting out anything that keeps you in the mental and illusion. That keeps you in the, from your happiness. Ace of Cups. That's what this is. Yep. It's Two of Cups. Mm-hmm. Queen of Cups. Okay. Five of Pentacles. It could be, this could have been an earth sign you left out. Okay. It could have been a hermit. A Virgo. Don't gotta be. You could have been dealing with a water sign as well, but you gonna this is you gonna be having something that just nurtures you as much as you nurture them. Two of Cups. This is a commitment, a contract. Six of Wands in reverse. What's the Six of Wands in the reverse? That's why you can't keep asking. Because you might not be feeling too victorious about this new love after everything you've been through in the past. But this new love that's coming up for you in the future. Yeah. You ain't feeling too celebratory. You ain't feeling recognized, possibly. But you definitely should be because you got the ace and the two. That's the three. That's a reason to celebrate. This is getting on the same page after possibly not feeling victorious. Put the end to that, okay? And moving forward in this cycle as the Empress. Something you waited a long time for, okay? Something you worked really hard for. Then we got the Emperor. The Empress and the Emperor, okay? So. I was going to pick these up, but I'm going to just scoot them over so I can get you a card out here from the Animal Oracle, Spirit Animal Oracle. Get you some advice out here on this spread. God, universe, angels, and spirit gods, what advice do you have for Libra regarding this spread? Advice for Libra regarding this spread. What advice do we have for Libra regarding this spread? Advice for Libra. Advice for Libra regarding this spread. 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 Advice for Libra. Advice for Libra. Regarding 
guess that's it. Co-create with spirit. And that's what you're doing. That's why you added to this new this newness. As you look around, can you sense the magic that pulses through the world? Have you witnessed every, how every thought can become a thing? How every intention can call the universe into action as the sacred laws shape you, shape what you experience? experience? The universe works in perfect order. When you align your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs with spirit, you will want to crow with delight, feeling the excitement and wonder of being in harmony with something much larger than yourself. Crow Spirit says that you are on the right. You are right on target now to see your dreams magically come into, come into begin, being in the visible world. The law of abundance, compensation, frequency, and praise and operating your, are operating in your favor now. Remember to be grateful and praise what is yours, even if it is still co um, coalescing into form, still resided in the, the invisible realms of co-creation. No matter what area of your life you are concerned with now, what you hope for is on the way, for spirit is your co-creation partner. That's lovely. That's a good message. Okay. So, I hope this helps somebody. Hope this resonated with somebody. And that's what I got for you this week, Libra. If this does resonate with you, please do not hesitate to give me a thumbs up. Okay? And if you would like to shop with any of my jewelry or anything, my chakra necklaces, they come with chakra made. Well, not chakra. They come with their chakra pendants. And they come with little handmade beads that I do. You know, bracelets. But you can check those out all in my link that I'll leave down below under my merch. Um, just check it out in case you want to purchase some of that stuff. Anyways, that's what I got for you this week. And if it resonated, please do give me a thumbs up. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.